Hello everybody and welcome back to Obliteration Redux. Today we are going to be doing some fun things that take place in the nether. Namely, because I just installed Amplified Nether. If you didn't watch the mod pack video that came out last week, uh, I just released it as of doing this video actually, then the only mod that I didn't mention was Amplified Nether and it's because I just installed it. So it's there, it's in the first reply to the pinned comment. But I have, of course, gotten back up to the nether roof like I had before. I have blown an even larger hole this time around into the floor. But that's not what we're focusing on now. We're focusing on this over here. As we can see now, I can actually see all the way clear over to my stronghold portal. And look at this. It looks, it looks boring. It's sad. And I, honestly, feel inspired by Grian's... Uh, what was it? Hermitcraft Season 9, I think it would be. The portal that he used in that, because it was this big, ominous portal. So I'm going to make uh, something... I hit the wrong button. Something close to that kind of idea, where this will be floating in the sky behind me. And I'm thinking of kind of ripping off the Dark Souls sun look. So, for those of you who have played Dark Souls, you'll know that the sun that I'm talking about is, of course, the eclipse. When the moon goes over the sun towards the later parts of the game, and it has this really cool effect of it looking like it's tearing the sky open. And I'm going to be doing that, but I'm going to be doing some kind of clock hands and evil hour type stuff. But that's all for this portal. Because all portals need love. But yeah, I have all the end stone that I'm going to be using. I'm pretty sure it's only going to take this much. It shouldn't, shouldn't be too expensive. And I was, I found myself looking for purple light sources and trying to find maybe a mod to get, like, purple fire. And then I remembered that, uh, Crying Obsidian is purple. And it's kind of a light source, so it'll, it'll have, like, a glowy effect from a distance. So we're going to be using Crying Obsidian today, and I can find that in the nether. So I might as well explore the nether with you and collect some Crying Obsidian from massive portals. At the same time, I'll, I'll be killing two birds with one stone, because I need some upgrade orbs, which require Cinder Essence and Iron Spells and spell books. And if I can get my hands on those, then that would be great. And those Cinder Essences are gotten from killing the armor sets, and the armor sets... Well, they're right next to the... They're right next to the Crown Obsidian portals that we need to get our hands on. So we're going to be hunting down some portals, killing some men, and generally just having a good time, and then we're going to be building a portal. That's... That's the episode for today. I'm not going to cut any of the sitting. I keep doing it accidentally, but it's very funny. So let's get started. My body is a weapon. There we go. I love Burning Dash. Also, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to the fact that this mod is incredible. This is insane. Like, the, the nether before was very flying unfriendly. Did not like being, like, did not look like it was even usable with an elytra. Very much had to walk most places, stuff like that. This now, this is, it, like, if the Caves and Cliffs update was like, nah, now the whole world is just going to be a cave. This is great. This is fantastic. Very friendly to the elytra. And overall, just very, very pretty. Especially with rethinking voxels. I think the best part about it, though, is the fact that I've already seen a basalt delta underneath of a warped forest, because Amplified Nether uh, puts in biome stacking. Oh, dear. Nothing happened. Amplified Nether puts in biome stacking, like the fact that there's a warped forest there, but above it, it's entirely a crimson forest. So it adds a lot more dimensionality, essentially, to to the nether itself. A very nice touch. There was a weeping portal around here somewhere. Just can't remember where.
here we are. Alright, let's name it on the atlas and then get to work. Actually, no, wait, that's a precious resource. Go on now, get. What's not a precious resource here? Oh, well, that can go in the inventory. The leaves are a precious resource still. I haven't finished uh, Blackwood yet. Well, we'll play it by ear. Got it. Up. Come on. Come on. Something's gonna hit me. Never mind. You got it. We're winning. We're living. The only problem that I have with having an 85 FOV is the fact that uh, I mean, swiftness on an 85 FOV is quite distracting. I forgot that I can stand in lava. There we go. We win these. Okay. See what I mean by they're unfortunately like kind of a joke? These guys are pretty easy to fight, it's just finding them that sucks. They also deal a lot of damage, so to be fair, I'm like they could hit me like four or five times and I probably probably die pretty quick. Take on two of these. There we go. We win these, we have twenty one. Got stuck in a corner. I don't see any more armor piles. How much crime sitting did we make? Twenty five? That's not going to be enough. I want at least a stack. 
Oh, here we go. Here's another one. There we go. Twenty-seven. Looking good. Small army to fight me, please. Thank you. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that should probably do. Make this an actual challenge. Shield is kind of overpowered as an ability. 32 Cinder Essence. Oh, there's one more. Okay. Got him. Oh, another one. Some sauce. Well, that's this weaving portal. Uh, let's see if we can find. You're clearly glitched. Please get away from me. Let's see if we can find after killing this man and his friend. See if we can find another one. Tally ho. out as well. Da, da, da. Okay, so no going underneath it at this time. Bit of inventory management. It's the next day, by the way. That's, that's the reason that I have wake up Alex voice. this again. Ah. 
That was actually close. That was... Heart stopped a little bit there. I'm at 43. Can always use more. gentlemen. It's time for work. Yes. 52. Lovely. One stack of arcane essence night of, of ashes only makes like 16 upgrade orbs. Which is a lot, but you also have to use the cinder essences in the rune stones for uh, iron's recipe add-ons. So I've actually been using a lot of them because it takes eight rune stones to make one upgrade. Order. So. Alright, I'm gonna turn my body into a bullet. This is a, a very funny way of killing a ghast. My body is an arrow. Come on, stay put. There we go. I am become death and my body is a weapon. <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, so we got 18 in here. Eighteen plus forty nine is sixty seven. Yeah, we're good. All right, we have what I want uh, from the crying portals, except for these. All right, so before we go onto the building, I'm going to actually build some more. It's just that I noticed that. You know, I wasn't showing you get this element for that long. I need to clean my inventory out. <laughs> uh, move things. Backpack. Skull goes to the skull box. I know I put them somewhere. Like, that. I took them out of the backpacks before Sophisticated. There they are. Before I uninstalled Sophisticated. Where can I put this? Stuff. Not junk. Stuff. This is the problem with having my kind of mindset towards uh, storage, is that if you don't have a box for it, it quickly turns into this. I think I've seen pods in like five different boxes. Down. This way. Other miscellaneous storage. That has space in it. Bum, 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 bum. Oh no, I actually have homes. I have, I have homes for those. Obsidian, I'll take that. Bum. 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 
Boom. 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 Okay. One, two, three, four. There we go. Okay, now we actually have a clean enough inventory. I'm not going to look at that. Uh, to get some upgrade orbs built. Da, da, da. I need an arcane scrap. Wait. Boom, boom. I want this. we have to sleep. Everything gets in the way. Everything gets in the way. Oh, I also need those. Oh, they're in the bundle. Right. Freaking am an idiot. That, that, and that. Uh, da, 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 da. And then we can finally bump. Uh, bump, 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 bump. I always get this part wrong. Bump, 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 bump. Yep. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom. Alright. I did allow myself to put a plus five on these because I wanted to see how funny it could get. But this is the only one that's going to be solely cooldown reduction. Uh, everything else is going to be like three parts cooldown reduction or mana and uh, two parts elemental upgrade. So let's try to find an upgrade for my boots then. Yep. Bump. 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 Sixty-four phantom membrane turns into eight of these. We just boosted our cooldown reduction by what was that? Just boosted cooldown reduction by ten percent, which is insane. Uh, that's probably gonna make it like in a rapid fire. <laughs> oh no, that's probably gonna make it like in a rapid fire burning dash, which would be very funny. Uh, my main question though is that fortify and. Uh, which I should have been using, realistically. Like, I should have been using Fortify when fighting those guys. But Fortify and... Oh, I already had one of these? Why wasn't I wearing it? What's the name of it? Frickin' eh? Fortify and Haste both have really long cast times, and I want to see how long their cooldown reduction is, and how long their cooldown is now. I'm gonna put those there because I don't really need them anymore, but I, it's nice to know where they are. Okie dokie. Now we can actually get started building the portal. But actually, I am gonna I'm 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 gonna check. Oh, that's so much faster now. This is why. Okay, so game design tip. 
uh, that I've learned from exploiting games, not from making them. Uh, do not make things percentiles. Percentiles will always be funny. This is... This is too fast. <laughs> and I, I'd like to remind you that I could do this in core. It's just that... Uh, I like I, I have yet to go above the allotted amount of ability. So it's not like, oh well you're only doing this because you can you can break the game like Iron didn't expect you to put in plus five. Uh all of these exist. Like I could get up to this level of pluses in base game, and it's th this is like lightning fast. Like check this out. Come on. Where's the portal? There it is. See that? Boom. Easy money. It takes like five seconds. Alright, now let's get started. I want these. Okay, good. I have the stone cutter. So, stone cutter down. And let's get to work. I gotta get some scaffolding. I forgot to bring it. It's it's becoming a headache. I gotta get some scaffolding. Ugh. <clears throat> Alright, I grab some scaffolding. Please. Okay, thank god. The audio track is normal. But I grabbed some scaffolding, so let's get back to work. It's beautiful. This is actually really pretty. But I don't think that it's done. Hmm. So, I'm thinking... One, one, I'm thinking that this looks freaking sick. This is crazy. Uh... But two, potentially, blowing up the left wing, like artificially, and making it look all scattered. Oh, and I'm going to level the top, actually. The bottom being all unlevel looks nice, but the top should be leveled up. Yeah, I'm going to fix that really quick. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot nicer. I don't know. Should I load up? I'll run it. I'll see I'll see what it looks like. Because I'm gonna leave all the crying obsidian where it is. So I'll devastate this wing with all the end stone. Speaking of which, I should keep it so that it's all the actual like exact amount. So if we just pop that in there, then that should do the trick. And that in there. Uh I'm going to keep all of the end stone to be like, oh, well, it's just, it's everything that was used in that wing and nothing else. So, yeah. I'm going to try it. I think it'll look nice. I don't know. Let's begin. And I already need more scaffolding. Ugh. 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 <laughs> well, at least you can see it from here. Yikers. Alright. Back to work.
All right, so while I like this, uh, I am going to change it because this is a bit too sporadic. And I think I can do something that actually looks a lot more dynamic. So if we, if we look at this right here, I have the idea to make it look as though here. Let me try to let me try to demonstrate this. Bum bum. kind of want to make it look as though a beam of some sort, of some eldritch energy, has gone through the eye. There we go. So I want it to look... And using that as like a dotted line. I want it to look as though there has been like a laser that is shot through. But now I have to reconstruct it and then deconstruct it. So I'm not going to be recording this one until I start the deconstruction. Alright, we begin. Actually, in hindsight, sorry, just cut to cut. In hindsight, I might be able to just start the reconstruction. So long as I recall where the things go. Let's begin. be able to wrap this episode up in a in, in a single day potentially maybe i don't know okie dokie that that needs to change that shouldn't be there Ugh. stare. Bump, bump, bump. Bap. Now the big question that I'm asking myself right now. Was, does this... Does this even look better? Whoop. Okay. I think that's missing a stair. Up. Ah! Okay. Now the question is, does this look better than on the side it does look good but does this look better than this where it's just like the three ah I do really really like the static design but I'd hate to say that I wasted time on this Okay. Okay. I do think this looks better. I think that when it was its own 
static thing, it looked better. Which is unfortunate, because that means that I just did a bunch of work for literally no reason. But look at it. Look. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the static symmetry. <sighs> I hate wasting my time. All right. I'm not even going to record this. I'm just going to put it back to normal. You guys saw the footage before. Yeah, that is better. The Elder Torah that swallows you into another dimension. This looks really nice. I actually really like this. Now to put the beacons in. I'm kidding. <laughs> just knock that out. All right. Now, this isn't actually the end of the episode. Uh... Because while well, I'm I'm certain that I've recorded enough footage to classify as like a full episode, uh, I do want to do like an update, like a full update of what's going on around the house, uh, why I haven't built the chapel yet, or not the chapel, the cathedral yet, and why I'm kind of stalling a bit by building the portal. Honestly, that's it's kind of a stall, but it's because you know I I need I need time. I need leaves. Realistically, I need leaves. But let's showcase, or I'm just going to showcase, what I've been doing and why why this has taken forever. So, off to the first city we go. Alright, so, to start, let's look at Blackwood. Blackwood is in the process of being built. What I've decided to do is I'm putting up a bunch of tree skeletons. And I'm going to keep adding more and more as we go. But a bunch of tree skeletons... And then I'm going to add branches to them, and then I'm going to add leaves to them. And they're probably going to span this entire plains area, so this will probably be a uh, an issue that I approach throughout the season. And next up is something that I've actually done, which it's it's faster than teleporting to use an elytra and fly. There we go. What I've actually done is I finally added the tough blocks to the wall. So now we have an easier gradient that looks really nice, in my own personal opinion. And same over here. We have finally put the tough blocks in. Which, yeah, I, I, I really think that this looks nice. The only issue that I have with tough bricks is that if you look at stone bricks, they have one pixel of like reflection. And if you look at blackstone, they also have one pixel of reflection. But tough, for some reason, gets two. So tough bricks look a lot more three-dimensional than stone bricks or black stone bricks. It's a very strange thing. And I don't know why it works that way, but it does. And then lastly, a thing to end the episode on. We have, of course, our library, which is still kind of unfinished, but the interior is for another day. And this is what the terrace looks like. And this is what I have to do with it. So I have to level out this area, then flatten all of this. And that alone took forever. I will admit that I have I have built it to be a kind of hollow build, unfortunately. Because collecting this much dirt... Uh... Nearly impossible. Like... You can't do it. it it's... It, I'll do it eventually, just because I don't want to have hollow builds. But it's it's so bad. It takes so long. But the church uh, is going to go right here. Or the, the, the cathedral. It's not a church, because a church is a much smaller thing than a cathedral. Uh, and it's going to be styled very much like our end portal. Because, again, dragon worship. Ah, I need to land. Dragon worship. That's what we're doing with this. We're going to be doing like a dragon cult kind of thing. And so it's going to be this big uh, end stone and quartz building. And I'm, I'm really going to try to limit the block palette with that one to be like mostly the off-white and the white of the quartz and the end stone. And then we have to put in a bunch of actual houses and villagers. And then we'll build Rip Sky. And it'll all be cool. But now... I have to wrap up the episode, so let's go to the end portal, nether portal. End portal, nether portal. End portal, nether portal. End portal, nether portal. 
red leather, yellow leather, red, yellow leather. All right. So yeah, this is what we did today. This is the spookiest thing I've ever built. I wasn't even trying to do this. Like, the concept art that I had in my mind was like a clock where the face of the clock is a portal and then the hands are like disintegrating. This this came out of like left field. Looks like a biblically accurate angel. Anyways, with that, I'll wrap up the episode. Say thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a lovely day, safe travels, happy hunting, and solo deo gloria.